All right, everybody, welcome to Staff Gymnasium. I have the pleasure again to be joined by Coach Bowen. Coach, big event coming tonight, the great ceremony. What does this mean to you? Well, this is very big. Uh, Victor Ortiz was varsity coach when I was JV coach for 23 years. Victor won about 400 games here. A uh, bunch of old players are here tonight. Uh, it's, it's a real great reunion night and a real good honor for Victor. Schedule doesn't get any, doesn't get any easier. Another tough Cambridge team coming out of... Joe County, you had a chance to work on your defense against Strakid. How Were you happy with the performance, even though it was a win as far as getting the defense squared away? Well, uh, actually, we didn't play too well defensively, I thought, against Strakid. I thought our press looked very good, yeah. which we did want to tune up. The press looked great, and I'm very pleased with that, and it's ready to go tonight if we need it. Now, what are you worried about the threat that Cambridge brings into tonight's game? Cambridge has a big, strong guy underneath, very powerful uh, young man who averages about 25 a game. He's a big scorer, big rebounder, something different. We don't see a lot of good big men anymore. Coach, all the best. Good luck. You. You're welcome. All right, we'll be back with the ceremony right after this. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Principal Dr. Murray and Athletic Director Kevin Kiru, we'd like to thank all of you for coming out tonight for this special event. We'd also like to extend our appreciation to Cambridge Ridge and Latin Falcons and Coach Coach Dotton for being part of this celebration. Tonight we recognize former coach Victor Ortiz. Victor had a 24 year coaching career, 385 wins, one state title, and five South sectional titles. At this time, we'd like to welcome someone who played for Coach Ortiz from 1984 to 1987, and graduated from Brockton High School, class of 1987. It's my pleasure to introduce you at this time our superintendent of schools, Mr. Michael Thomas. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. everybody for the dedication of the court to Victor Ortiz. I'd like to thank and welcome the Ortiz family, many who came in from long distances to join us tonight. I want to also thank Victor's wife Joanne, a longtime Brockton Public School teacher. Victor and Joanne have been married for 40 years, so I want to congratulate them. Thank you, Joanne. I know you put up with a lot with Victor. <laughs> also, Mr. Ortiz put up a lot having me play for him for four years, and that was not an easy feat, because believe me, I was no great basketball player. But Mr. Ortiz won 71% of his games. Just think of this, Bill Belichick has only won 68% of his games. Victor's career spanned from 1976 to 2007, and not due to his many accolades, which include induction into the New England Basketball Hall of Fame, 
the Coaches Hall of Fame in the Brockton High School Sports Hall of Fame. And we congratulate you for that. When this came to the Brockton School Committee about four months ago, I want to thank uh, former school committee member Brett Gormley and all current school committee members. Uh, as soon as they got this recommendation to name the court after Victor, uh, they got behind it right away. It was a very easy decision to make. And as superintendent of schools, I was behind it 100% as well. So we want to congratulate Vic Victor tonight. The crowd here tonight is a, t is a testament to the positive effect that Victor had on young men and women in the community. I am so grateful that we are here to honor him tonight for this very deserving recognition ceremony. And it's also very, and I'll, finally I'll, I'll wrap this up by saying, not only was Mr. Ortiz a great basketball coach and did a lot for the young men that played for him, but he was an adjustment counselor for many years for the Brockton Public Schools and helped thousands of students out throughout their young ages of becoming successful young adults. So I want to just say thank you to Victor for what he did, not only as a coach for the Brockton Public Schools, but also as an adjustment counselor in the many years he served the children of Brockton. So we really congratulate you on that as well. <laughs> Next, I want to bring out Senator Michael Brady, who's with us tonight, who has a citation from the State House. Thank you, Mr. Superintendent, and uh, let's give a round of applause for our new superintendent, another Brockton High alumni. And, and I have to say, Victor, that I was too short to play basketball when I was in high school. I was too thin to play in a football team, and I wasn't a good hockey player, so I ran cross country. I was a lot thinner than, but those days are gone, so you're still in good shape. God bless you. But this official citation, be it known that the Massachusetts Senate hereby extends its congratulations to Victor M. Ortiz in recognition of your dedication and the dedication of the Victor Ortiz basketball court in your distinguished career at Brockton High School, serving as coach, mentor, and leader to generations of students. This is signed by the Senate President Karen Spoker, the clerk Michael Hurley, and myself, Mike Brady. Congratulations to y'all, all, all you've given to the City of Champions. And I also want to say our representative Claire Cronin will have a citation from the State House with the State Delegation. She is away on business, so she extends her congratulations as well. Thank you again. Thank you. Thank you, Senator. So without any further ado, I give you Mr. Victor Ortiz. I've been told to keep this short, so I, I got the hook written for me. Uh, I want to thank Superintendent Thomas and the school committee for bestowing this great honor on me. I also want to thank the uh, I mean, Bell, Detective Bell and Brett Gormley and all the other athletes, former players of mine that signed it, the letter to Superintendent Thomas to get, bring it forward to the state. I also have to say that I, I have to thank a very, group, very group, great group of people. The nurses and doctors at Beth Israel Hospital, uh, for 11 years, I've had numerous operations, and I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for those doctors, those nurses, those nurses' aides that, thank God, allowed me to live long enough to be here. I also want to thank uh, the former coaches that I work with, uh, Dick Oso, uh, Bob Bowen, uh, the late George McKay. Co Coach McKay worked with us for 18 years, passed away last spring. And Coach Bowen was with me for 24 years. And uh, I guess Bobby was, uh, lived a very tortured life because uh, uh, we spent a lot of time in, on his floor. Now, speaking of Superintendent Thomas, Michael was a lot better than he gave himself credit for. Michael uh, was a great shooter. Didn't have a lot of speed, couldn't jump. <laughs> and he wore number 33. And every guy that I coached in Brockton wore number 33. They couldn't jump, they could all shoot. But the other guy, Larry Bird, uh, he was 6'9". Michael is 6'1 with pumps, you know, so. But Michael, don't say, never sell yourself short. Michael is very loyal and dedicated, he's a great teammate. Uh, the other players that are here for my first 
my state championship team. I can't mention all of them because I'd be here all night. But I want to say thank you guys. I thank every athlete that played at Brockton High. I know it was a difficult time. I was a disciplinarian, uh, but it didn't kill anybody. Uh, they all went, what I'm proud of most of, they all went on to see in life, not just basketball. Today, some of them superintendent. I got guys that are teachers, firemen, police detectives, uh, guidance counselors, and a lot of my players have come back and now assisting Coach Bowen. Uh, I hired one player who played for me uh, as a freshman coach, and later he's out of coaching now. Manny DeBarrels is Bobby's uh, JV coach, and Manny played for me. Manny's a guidance counselor here at the high school. And I also have to thank all the people I worked with in the school system, because basketball coaches get a lot of press and acknowledgement. It's the classroom teachers that should be recognized, because these kids, they're the ones that make the total line. I can, I can judge, juggle the schedule around and sit them, but the teachers are the ones that have a greater influence. Uh, so I have to thank all those teachers and my fellow colleagues in the adjustment, adjustment council that are here tonight. So again, I thank you for this honor on behalf of my family. And I forgot to mention two people. The guy who hired me, Jack Leehan, who's no longer with us. The guy who kept me on, John Wooten. And I have to thank the two athletic directors I work with, uh, Tom Pileski and John Wooten. Thank you very much.
Welcome to Staff Gymnasium. I'm Dominic Damiano, joined by Miles Jackson and Chris Bazell. We just had an excellent opening ceremony dedicating this, this court to none other than Victor M. Ortiz. It was a great ceremony, gentlemen. Yep. Yes, Vic Ortiz, great coach, been here for years from the 70s till about 2007. He always cared for about the kids and just a great coach and a great role model. And then we got a great, we had a great, uh, Match up here tonight as the 10 and 2 out of the Jewel County Conference, the visiting Cambridge Ridge and Latin Falcons to take on the Brockton Bobcats. Yeah, some see yeah, some some um some facts that that need to be set up for this game. I think I think Brockton needs an an an, an, electric, an electrifying fourth quarter. They kind of they're kind of iffy on fourth quarters, but they do manage to win them. Yeah, and, and look for Kai Smith. Kai Smith has some college offers and the leading scorer for the Falcons. So let's see what he does tonight. All right, so here we are. There's Dunbar, the point guard, right in the offense. He gets it right over the right, trying to work it inside to the big man, Smith. He spins, he used, and they're going to get him to travel and pivot foot. And just like that, we have another change of possession within 15 seconds of the game. Yeah, uh, Kai Smith, big, big guy for Cambridge, but Brockton has their own big man, number 35 by Kem Nichols, and he did a great job on defense there. Yeah, and the Falcons have 13 six-footers, so they're a big team. Let's see how this physicality matches up. All right, so they work it around the perimeter. There's Biddle now. Biddle thinking about driving. He does drive. He stops, kicks it out baseline. Back to Robinson. Robinson stops right under the hoop, kicks it way back out to the far side. Back to Biddle, who has a little jump shot. That's off shy. Cleaning it up under the middle is the big man. Nichols, great job on that offensive board for Brockton. Yep, nice inside defensive position, excuse me, offensive position for Nichols. There's a baseline shot for three as Cooper Wright gets the Falcons on the board in this contest. Now Blakely working around the perimeter. There's Biddle, he's thinking about driving baseline, kicks up to the other far side of the baseline. Here's a three, that's too long. Rebound Falcons. And now Dunbar, he ain't messing around. He kicks out to the other perimeter. And that's uh, intercepted. Nice play by Bettle. Got that shot. He feeds nice. the big man. Nice. Unselfish basketball by Trenton Biddle. Yeah, nice assist going to Navon Reed. Just like we thought, it's going to be a close game. And here come the Falcons now, down by one. Driving underneath and not even no contest there. That's a man among boys with Smith when he plants himself in the paint. Yeah, yeah, yeah nice dish off by the guard right there in the paint. Now driving, kicks it back out. Blakely thought he had some. Oh, he feeds a big man under the hook for a easy basket for Nichols for two. Yeah, that was a nice dish underneath to the big man from Diamond Blakely. And Nichols needs to continue to do that for Brockton to have an insurmountable lead in this game. Now Williams, he's going to use his speed, kicks it off to Smith. Smith, his little floater won't go off the glass. Rebound Brockton. 
And now Robinson brings it up. And oh. a little miscommunication. That woke up some parents on the far side of the court. Yes, it did. <laughs> yeah, you're exactly right. A little miscommunication with um, Todd Robinson and the forward over there. I believe it was Biddle. Yeah. I think Todd thought he was going to come right to the basket. So it looks like Brockton's going to use their full court press. One thing that Coach Bowen talked about in the pregame, and I had the pleasure of talking about, he really wasn't too happy the way the defense they tried to add, add, they tried to use in the Drake game. So let's see how they make the adjustments now. Now driving is right, he stops, he gets backed up by Biddle, he kicks that back out to Williams, covered by Robinson. Tries to wow. work it inside to Smith, that's touched by the boxer, so it'll stay Falcons ball, 5'10 left in this first quarter. Yeah, that was a nice job by Brockton's defense to keep their hands up on the defensive end. In the middle, that's nice positioning by the boxers to break at inside pass, that was Nichols. Now a long three, Robinson won't go, tries to follow his own shot, nice try, but the Falcons clean that up, and now that should have been a double dribble. That looked like he walked on that one, it's for three from long range. And right hits. Yeah, it looks like Wright likes to hit that outside jumper. That's his second one in this first quarter. Yeah, Cooper Wright has a nice soft form as well. He needs to continue to do that. Blakely kicks it up to the far side of the baseline. The Biddle, Biddle spins. He lost his foot on the wet on the wet parquet. There's a floater by Robinson. Won't go. Rebound Falcons. They're trying to run, and we'll have the first foul of the game. Well, I know a little bit about their M.O. is they like to dish it to the big men in the paint for Smith, and that's a smart play when you have a body like that. Yeah, so far, Brockton's offense, they've gotten most of their points, just about all their points inside. They haven't hit an outside um, jump shot yet. All right, now off the inbound pass. Williams now, 424 and running left in the first quarter. Brockton up 8-6, to six, inside pass to Smith, and he gets fouled. And he's asking for help. From the body language I just got, I don't know if you guys noticed that from Nichols. He was looking over Robinson to help him out on the inside for Smith. Okay, yeah, that was a quick move by the um, Falcons offensive ball carrier there. Caught Brockton off guard on defense. Well, caught him by surprise. So Smith missed the first one. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Falcons are up by eight. I apologize that for earlier. Hits the second. Their lead is three. And now here comes Diamond Blakely bringing it up for the boxes. Over to Biddle. Biddle tries to go around. Here's a little nice, nice jump shot. Can't finish. Rebound. Falcons. On a break. Here comes Williams. Trying to move it around. Back outside of the baseline. Jumper and hits for three. Salem, Solomon Heron, the captain. Yeah, the Falcons are doing a great job on the three ball. Now Reed almost lost that. Robinson was smart enough to get the angle and make sure that pass wasn't in it, picked off. They work on that's tipped, recovered by the Falcons. Yeah, good defense right there by the Falcons, getting their hands up. Williams now covered by Robinson. 3.20 left in the first. They lead a 6 12 6. Trying to work it up, up to Smith. He moves, he jumps, and he gets fouled. They like that, you know. The big famous move is the hop, skip, bounce the ball, and jump. Yeah, Smith doing a good job using his weight in the paint, driving to the basket, and gets rewarded with uh, a couple of shots. Yeah, Kai Smith is just coming is just coming off a thousand point career for the Cambridge Falcons. So, so oh. a special player that he is. And he's al he's also averaging on a thousand rebounds. So. He's one for three from the paint, just off the top of my head. Only because he just stands out so much, you know. Here's a second shot, trying to add to the Falcons' lead. He does. It's two for four from the charity strike. And now he Blakely. Covered by right. Brockton just trying to get some rhythm down. Now driving. Moves to his right. Goes left. Kicks it back baseline to Reed. Reed has a nice play. Oh, what a nice move with the right hand. Yeah, pretty play right there by the boxes. 
Diamond Reed going into paint and then dishing it off to the big man. Now Williams initially had it out to the baseline. He kicks it back over to right back to Williams inside to Smith. Smith and now Benton's in time. Now it's two big men going at it. Now that's there's a long three and he hits. Yeah, I tell you, so far the the uh, the um, forwards for Cambridge have been hitting those uh, outside shots with perfection. Absolutely. That, that's why it's 16 to eight right now. Now Reed, he's gonna take a three. That's off. And we're gonna have a travel called on Cooper Wright. He did travel. Yeah, now uh, in case there, they just all bumped the Cambridge players, kind of bumped into each other. You'll see the replay right there of Navon going right to the basket. All right, here we go off the inbound, Robinson. He's gonna step back, try to hit the three. No good, rebound Falcons. Yeah, Brockton's still cold from the outside. Yeah the, yeah, the Falcons are doing a great job on defense. Williams now trying to go Robinson. He kicks that back out to Heron. And what a steal by Robinson. He's going to go up the glass and finish. Yeah, good defense right there for the boxes. They needed that, those points right there. Timeout, timeout. Falcons 16 to 10. Falcons 149 left. So what do you think, guys? Is the game is exactly what we thought it was going to be. Yeah, it, it's intense early on, but the only problem for Brockton is they can't hit an outside shot. They can't buy an outside shot where Cambridge has um, hit most of their jump shots from the outside. Yeah, yeah and, I, and I think the defense on Kai Smith is going to be kind of interesting. Viking Nichols and him, that's going to be a, that's a, that's a fun matchup. They gotta, they're going to go at it. They're going to go at it as they, as they continue. Absolutely. And as you can see, there's the Brockton High School band. Excellent ceremony early for Victor, uh, Victor, Victor Ortiz. I thought that was so, so classy by the administration. And of course, you know, Brockton High doing what they did. And uh, Bowen, Coach Bowen touched about how much it meant to him, you know, being under his wing when he was a JV coach here at Brockton High. All right, so we come out of the break, and there's your score, as you can see. Falcons up 16 to 10. 149 officially left in this first quarter. And one thing that's hurting the box is right now, they have three team fouls, and the Falcons have none. We have another another whole quarter to play, but key thing you guys mentioned is that the ability of the box is not to hit the jump shot, no matter how far away they are. Now off, in, off the inbound, here comes Williams now. Was trying to work off of Brown. Now he drives with his left hand, his fadeaway won't go, rebound, and we're gonna have a foul on the floor. They're gonna say, I believe they're gonna say one of the boxers stepped out. Yeah, so it was Navon Reed. So it no, no, actually it was no foul, just it was out of, out of yeah. bounds, Brockton. Yeah, out of bounds, yeah. Harrison. On the inbound, way out there, the top of the key, that was right, baseline back to to Williams, now back off to right for three. Won't go, rebound Williams. Now a little turnaround jump shot and hitting that and that's Heron. And the lead's back up to eight. Yeah, Falcons very smooth on their offense right there. Got the offensive rebound and, and, and took advantage and got the uh, two points. Shot by Robinson, that short from the baseline. Then we'll say it was last touch by Brockton. No, I, that's not right. That now it's right. Okay, they got me confused for a minute. <laughs> I was going by the body English under the hoop, and I'm like, why is he walking away? And then I didn't see Robinson under the hoop. On the inbound, there's Batten. His little his little hook shot won't go. He definitely can go around Williams. That's for sure. I mean Smith. I'm sorry. Now Williams. He kicks it back out. Back and forth they go. Now back up the other side. There's right. They'll start it up again. That's Heron. Heron over to right. Back the other side to Williams inside to Smith. He's going to try to finish. Wow. Well, he went right by Bento. Wow. He did. That late was with authority. Yeah, it was. Yeah, nice spin move. Now Ula in the game after that time. And he'll go in for Blakely. Ula will stopping. Gets it out to... These my, this is my favorite player for Brockton High. This is this is the big guy. This is Lane, but he almost got his pocket picked. He did. And then transition, here comes. And he's fouled by Lane. I don't know what his role Lane. I just like his mechanics. I like the way he plays. 
Yeah, Isaac Lane, one of the smoothest um, high school ball players here in the South Shore. Got a lot of skills. So they're gonna, we're waiting to see who they're gonna call it on. The, the player clock and the foul clock is not working, so we're gonna have to pay attention as he hit, as Heron hits his first. That was a crazy loose ball in the center court. Yeah, the uh, Falcons did a nice job hustling and did not give up going after that basketball. Brockton's gotta be a little bit more um, protective with the basketball. They misses the second. Shot clock is off down to 10 seconds left in the first quarter. Olawu, over to Robinson. Robinson trying to drive around the big man. His flow, that's blocked originally by Heron. There's a long shot at the end of the quarter, and it won't go. And that's how the quarter will end. With your score, the Falcons 21, the Boxers 10. Like you guys mentioned, we gotta get, we gotta start hitting some jump shots. It's plain and simple. We don't hit, this is gonna get out of hand really fast in the next quarter. And, and, and in the middle of that second quarter, Cambridge kind of picked up their defense a little bit. Brockton working really hard to get some shots off inside as well as outside. And um, Cambridge defense is really picked up here in that um, late in that second quarter. Absolutely. Yeah, the height of the Cambridge ring, Ridge Line and Falcons is really bothering Brockton. They can't, they, they can't really seem to find a, they're not comfortable on offense right now, and, and they have to figure it out. Now, I don't know if it's because they're worried because they already have two, four team fouls, and they know they're, they have another quarter to play, so they're being a little bit passive, I guess, going after those loose balls. So we'll, we'll see what adjustment coach Bowen tells them to do. They got to hustle, comes down to hustle. And that first quarter, the reason why, in my personal opinion, the reason why I was playing the tennis is because the Falcons won it. So we'll see what happens now. Yeah, the Falcons done a good job coming in here to, to a hostile crowd. Big night honoring Ortiz, and they've really, um, cool, calm, and collective got a 11-point lead. All right, so here we go as we start the second quarter. And off the inbound, there's Olawu. Cover, covered by Wright. And he lost, he got it. Wright picked his pocket. He's gonna try to finish. Now we're gonna have a jump ball. Wow, they had uh, quick, quick, uh, quick whistle. Yeah. I thought Olawu did it, uh, what stole that back. I Good did defense. Too. Now off the inbound, Smith, wow. how did he do that? That was all power. That was all power, exactly right. That Mike. was impressive. And that was over Raymond Bento too, just as big as him. Olawu now trying to work it around, gets back out to Robinson, covered by Wright. Let's see what he does here. He works himself to the top of the perimeter, over to Lane now. Lane back to Olawu. And then, of course, the uh, Falcons with the defense, and with that, they pick the pocket. Trying to go up and finish, and he's fouled. As O'Hearn stepped right in front of that, he read that perfectly. Yeah, that's the second time Olu's come down and um, given up the basketball on a, a, not a good pass. He's got to tighten up on the uh, offense as far as passing the basketball because this Cambridge team is very quick. Yep, hits the first. We're not gelling, as they say. The team is definitely not gelling right now. But with that being said, the, it's doable, anything's doable in basketball. Rebound boxes, and Olawo brings it up. Over to Lane. Lane, thinking about going around the big man, he's up the back to the other side of the baseline. Gets the bounce, but won't fall. Bento with a great hustle, and that'll be off on the Falcons. Yeah, good hustle by the big man. On the inbound right in front of us. Trying to make, trying to make a move. That's Reed. He does, and he's fouled. That's what you have to do. Get him in trouble. Gee, that was a nice move by Navon. Unfortunately, he didn't fall. The Falcons still playing tough defense inside. All right, so let's see what they do here. He needs, these buckets are really big.
Exactly. When, when you're down 14 points, Mike, when you get to the free throw line, it's, it's, in, and it's unfortunate, but it's already critical here. We're in the second period, and Brockton really needs every point that they can get to get back in this ball game. Yeah, I could, yeah you can see Cambridge kind of running away with it. Hits the second one. On the seven minutes left in the half. Now trying to go all the way to the other side was Williams who works it back out to Smith. He's looking. Oh, what a, that's all ball. That has to be a jump ball, absolutely. Wow, Todd Robinson, man, what a player, what yeah. a play. Yeah, he rose to the occasion on that one, denied the big man. Where, were that, where was that in the first half, in the first quarter though? We needed that in the first quarter. Here comes Olawu now, great job by Robinson. He sees him in the lane, kicks it out baseline, back to Robinson, top of the key to Bento for three. That's short. Rebound Falcons. Now the Falcons on her, and here comes O'Hearn. Back out to right baseline, won't go. And great job by Isaac Lane over the big man Smith. He sees something, he's gonna try to finish, and he does. And you saw how smooth that was from the defensive play, took it coast to coast, and smoothly took it to the hole. Yeah, that's what the boxers have to do. They have to kind of mentally bully Kai Smith. Williams now. They try to work in front. Oh, what a great steal! As Smith was camped in the paint. Now in transition, here come the boxers off the glass. And he's fouled. Yeah, Cambridge thought that was a charge. They were hoping. We'll see, yeah, we'll see the replay. And Avon Reed on the drive. Oh, that was close. Yeah, that was close, yes. Nice positioning by the big man. But fortunately for us, um, well, for Brockton, Avon gets to shoot two. Here's the first shot. Hits that one. The lead is back down to 10 for the boxes. Smith will take a break. And checking in for Smith is Brock. So Brock. And who are in? Diamond Blakely. And Blakely back in, and Olawu's out for the boxers. Hits them both. The lead is nine. Three, two, four, yeah, Navon, he's, he's a good free throw shooter. Now right, inside. Ooh, the big oh, Brock. Rejected. Now lay the finish! Oh, oh no! Through. Oh, that would have been nice. Got too far ahead of himself. Yeah, if you were Isaac Lee, you should have went for the left-handed layup. Yeah, uh. exactly. If he would have finished, if he would have finished that, the crowd would have definitely came to their feet. Uh, yes, absolutely. On the inbound in the Brockton end. Baseline O'Hearn loses it for a minute, but he gets it out to Bonley. And that's stolen by the boxers. In transition, here comes Brockton. Robinson for three. That's off, no good, rebound Bento. And they're gonna say it was last touched by number 21, Charles Bonney. I, I like the looks Brockton has been getting. They've been more aggressive offensively in the, in the last couple minutes. On the inbound. And another miscommunication. And I, they're gonna say it was last touched by Falcons. They're gonna talk. They're gonna talk about it. Up. Oh. Give it to the Falcons. So it'll be Falcons. Falcons on the inbound. This is a very disciplined Falcons team. That's for sure. Yeah. Now they go full court press. Try to make. They force. Trying to force the Falcons to spread it out. And they. There's a mistake. There's Xavier now in the game for the boxers. His three. Won't go. Rebound. Falcons. Yeah, he likes to take that outside shot. And he can hit it for the boxes. Wright got fouled. And that's going to. I think that was called on. Right? It's going to live on right. So we have a couple more changes. Robinson and Biddle come in. And uh, Navon Reed gets a, a well-deserved rest. Barney comes out and Brown checks in for the Falcons. Approaching the five minute mark left in the first half. The lead is nine, 24 to 15 Falcons. Great job by the boxers and they throw wow. And the 
Nice, wow. a nice turnover. That was a great job. Yeah, what Coach Bowen is have his team doing on defense is trapping the man with the basketball, and, and it's made some nice turnovers here in the middle of the um, second quarter. Now Biddle inside the bento. His little hook. Wow. Float off the baseline for two. Yeah, nice touch by um, Bento. Lead is seven. Now Brown, all the way over to Hearn. There's a baseline shot. Wow. And very, very smooth is Brock on that baseline three. Yeah. Yeah, Cambridge got some shooters, a number of shooters that can hit that outside shot. Yeah, it seems as though the entire roster can shoot most of the players. Blakely, as they switch it up, he gets the cutter coming in. Biddle, Biddle's going to drive. A floater up the glass won't go. Almost had his own rebound, but knocked out by the Falcons. And we have another switch as Wright checks out for the Falcons, and Lusenheiser checks in in his place. Now off the inbound, there's Blakely trying to go around the big man, Hearn. And that's out of bounds again, and it will stay Brockton ball with 4.03 left in this half. Robinson now. Gets it over to Bento, off the inbound, back to Blakely. They'll wind it up again and get this offense going. Baseline Robinson trying to go up a pick up Bento. You can have an offensive foul, we'll change the possession. Yeah. It'll be Falcons ball. They're gonna call that on the big man. And I'm pretty sure that's his first, but now with that being said, the, the uh, boxes are in the penalty. Ooh, and there yeah. it is right there. Oh, that yeah. puts so a nail in the coffin the right there. Yeah, yeah Biddle uh, body checking, and he got caught. All right, so here goes the one-on-one -on -one situation, which we kind of talked about coming into this first, the second quarter, excuse me. Yep, and it's still got 352 left in this second quarter, so. Brockton's got to be careful because the Falcons can take advantage and they've got some good free throw shooters also. So Williams will go to the charity stripe for the Falcons. The lead is back up to 10. Hits the first, they'll get another shot. Still Brockton's uh, having a tough time hitting that outside shot. They really haven't warmed up with the outside and, and they're known a lot of their players can hit that outside shot, but for some reason, they just haven't uh, warmed up yet. And they've had some clean looks at the three clean as well. Looks, yes. <laughs> so he hits them both. Let's see if Brockton gets something to get, get something together here. Blakely's floater hits. Wow. Blakely in the paint. No fear. Now the bot. Oh, I, whoa, I already whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, that uh, that's a bad that, yeah, that looked like good defense by Bento. So let's think. Let's see if um, let's see if we get that look back at that off the monitor. I have no idea how they called that a foul. So with that being said, anyway, Brock will go to line for a couple. Misses the first, and here it is, guys. No oh, way. come no on. Way. Yeah, just body to body contact. Maybe the shirt's touched, but there was no real body contact there. I think oh. the ref was in a bad angle, and he just assumed I, I agree. that there was some body contact. But great defensive play by Bento. All right, so here we go. 2 three twenty-six and running left in the half. 30-19, Falcons, Biddle now. Back to Blakely. Blakely thinking about it. Goes with the left hand, off the glass high, and finishes. Nice play by Blakely, going to his left hand side, and took advantage. Nice steal by the boxes to finish. Navon Reed with the big defensive play and the big dunk. This trap has been working pretty well for Brockton. Yep, that's Let's see it here in the replay, defense. Athleticism of Navon Reed. Yeah, Navon, just a smart and athletic basketball yes. player. Yeah, well, and you said the key word, he's also a smart basketball player. All right, the lead is back down to seven with under three minutes left to go in the half. 
Biddle to Nichols. His turnaround shot. His shot fouled. Wow. Uh, Beckham Nichols, that's what you got to do, man. This is your moment. He powered his way in there. He's got a chance to make this a three-point play. He can finish it with three points. All right. Here we go. Oh, Biddle on the rebound. Wow. And it, it looked like he was all over Biddle, all over the back. Yeah, they can, they Nick, they can Nichols in the post. Nice pivot move. And Powers is in. Powers is a win to the basket. On the inbound, Nichols now. Here's Little off the, too hot up the glass. He gets his own rebound. Nice. Follows and finishes. Nice offensive board there by the big man. Now Falcons trying to answer as a high floater and they can't finish, rebound Nichols. Two Falcons couldn't finish. Now Blakely in transition, he's gonna run it. And Ooh. he's out. It's like a hard fall. You know, Diamond Blakely is not afraid to go in the paint no matter how big the defensive player is. And he showed it right there again, no fear by Diamond Blakely. Yeah, man, you said it correct, Miles. He has no fear at all. He likes to go to his left. Hits the first. And just like that, gentlemen, the lead, the lead is back down to two with 224 left in the half. We were down by 12 at one time. Hits them both. Hit. Lead is one. Now trying to finish. Oh, and he definitely. I'm not. I'm not quite sure if that was a foul by Nichols. He was. What, he was what? planted perfectly. I don't know. No, I, I think he was, he was moving. That was the oh, problem. Man. Yeah, that was. He did move. He, he did was move. moving on the play. He might not thought he committed the foul, but that that was a legit foul. So coming out is Brown and the big man Smith. Right, one of the best players in the state. Come back in for the Falcons, and Bento checks in. And Nichols checks out. Yeah, that was a good move by Coach Bowen to get, get his um, big man out of there. And the great thing, again, about Brockton's bench, that they, they got one big man can fill in for another big man, and that's Bento. Middle now. Thinking about getting down to Bento. Now out to Robinson. He drives from the top of the key, pivots off the baseline. Reed thinking about it. Looks, pivots. Goes to his left, they'll wind it up again. Under two minutes left in the half. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Driving and they're gonna have a foul. On Brock. Now I tell you, Cambridge done a good job staying out of the bonus here in the uh, first half. Absolutely. Now in the inbound there's Reed trying to go around Brock, see if he does it. Robinson, I thought he was going to take that shot inside the Bento, back out to Reed, lost it for a minute, it was tipped by Brock, they will wind it up again. 15 seconds on the shot clock. He spins, wow. he looks, oh wow. he can't finish, nice try, he had the roll, couldn't finish it, couldn't finish going down through the cylinder. That was a great spin move by Navon Reed. He's having fun now. When an athlete plays like that, he is having fun. He's very quick. Officially 132 left in the first half. And as you can see there, a four point lead for the Falcons. Brockton has come back with, from a 12 point deficit in this first half. Hits the first. Yeah, you see here, Navon Reed. Ordering the de ordering his offense a bit. Wow. On the spin move. Nearly makes an acrobatic layup. Talk nothing about nothing but skill. Talk about off balance and still getting close to the basket like that. <laughs> he hits them both. So Reed comes out, Lane checks back in. Again, 132 lead, 132 left. The lead is two for the Falcons. Yeah, another good move by Coach Bowen getting his one of his star players out of there with a minute and a half left. And getting um Isaac Lane in there. Yeah, to prevent any fouls. Yes. Just in case. Tries are working inside. Oh. No baskets. Going to be on the floor. 
Well, they're in the double bonus, so they should be probably going to charity stripe most likely. You got no, he has to go. They're in the bonus. Yeah, Coach Yeah, Coach Bowen really needs Raymond Benzel. He has to really stay out of foul trouble. He's already got a he has, he's already got a couple or a few so far. Xavier getting ready to check in for Brockton. Misses the first. And yeah, he's gonna get him out of there. I'm not sure how many team how many fouls are on him. Yeah, I think he's got two or three. Here's Brock's second shot. He misses them both. I traveled. And he definitely walked. <laughs> One nineteen left in this first half. The boxers have a chance to either take the lead or tie the game right now. Which everyone probably knows it's watching the game. Driving Xavier with a floater. He can't finish. Rebound. Falcon Smith. Oh. Over the far side of the baseline. Block. Oh, nice deep. Lane with a nice block. Trying to finish. Blakely. Kicks it out the lane. Now Lane drives. He tries to go around Smith. We're going to have a jump ball. It's a good call. Yeah, it'll be possession on the uh, Falcons. Off the inbound. Ooh, wow. has a, a nice steal by the boxes. With a fresh 20. Hit off for three. That's off. Tipped and saved again. Now Xavier with a shot. It's nice floater, nice touch by Xavier. Good defense by the boxes. Now the Falcons trying to finish Ooh. and going hard to the floor. I think they're going to call that on Biddle and going to the charity stripe. That's going to be Cooper Wright. Yep, they're going to call on Biddle. Yeah, you see here. Gentlemen, yeah. the bosses have come back within 12. Trent right? Biddle with a hard foul. Sorry about that. I forgot. The, I forgot to look at the replay. Sorry about that. <laughs> Catch the first. Yeah, when, yeah whenever, whenever the Brockton seems to get the crowd enlightened and um, and they have the momentum on their way, Cambridge finds a good way to quiet quiet that down with a foul and, and, and entering the charity shot. They're doing a good job of that. Catch them both. The lead is back up to two now. Again, for the Falcons, but the boxes have battled from 12. Yeah, shot clock is off, so I think the boxes, I'm sure Coach Bowen wants him to bring it down, bring the clock down maybe get the last shot or close to it. Xavier, Xavier. won't go. Oh, re Ooh. rebound Brockton and following up and having a chance to tie the game. And we're gonna have a foul. Wow, tough break there by the boxes. On Xavier. I think they're gonna call that on Xavier as the referee breaks it up. Yeah. Great hustle by the boxes. Unfortunately, they couldn't cash in. He had a couple of chances, ball just wouldn't fall. All right, so now Solomon Hearn will go to the charity stripe. This will be, we might be, uh, boxes are fast. We'll get one more shot off. Yeah, another, another good free throw shooter right here, Hearn. Misses Let the I, first, that's big. Let, going that I jinxed him. <laughs> <laughs> He's got some colorful sneakers. I was thinking the same thing, just when you said that. Hits the second, the lead is three. On five, four seconds left. All of us gonna have to let it go. Let it go, too hard and that's the half. So at the half, your score, Cambridge Ridge and Latin Falcons 36 to Brockton, Boxers 33. Miles and Chris and myself will be back with a recap of the first half. Just before we start the second half, we'll be back with more right after this. Since the moment you were born, I've made a thousand wishes. Wishes for your future in a world that's changing fast. For all of the things you may one day do, do play and laugh. 
Do win and lose. Do learn from your mistakes. And challenge yourself to grow. Do not be afraid. Or make decisions based in fear. Do it all with confidence and with kindness and strength. Do call your mom and ask her for advice. And always do your best to remember that no matter what you do in this life, what matters to me is that you keep doing I love you always, Mom. Juega y ríe. Gana y pierde. Hazlo todo con confianza, amabilidad y fuerza. Y siempre haz tu mayor esfuerzo por recordar que no importa lo que hagas en esta vida, lo que importa para mí es que sigas haciendo. Hi everybody, welcome back to Staff Gymnasium. I'm Dominic Damiano, joined by Miles Jackson, Chris Pazell, as we wrap up what we thought our thoughts in the first quarter, gentlemen. Well, first I, half, sorry. Yeah, I'll tell you, uh, Mike, is um, what, brought, what brought them back in that first half, that second quarter, was their trap defense. It kind of took um, Cambridge off guard, and Brockton took advantage with the good defense, and they capitalized, making the points back um, on the offensive end. It, it's funny, though, a lot of their points were from inside in, in the paint yeah. still, but uh, it was a great job getting back into this ball game. Yeah, it was, it was pretty much interesting play by both teams. They're both they're both competitive, both um, both quite equal. It's, it's a hell of a game, and great atmosphere, a great showing. It really is. Some of the points I noticed is that why all of a sudden did you take the big man out of the game? So I'm thinking he might be recouping from an injury. We didn't see him till late in that second quarter. And then the other thing I saw from Brockton, which you guys touched, or which you all talk, talked about, but Brockton said, hey, guess what? We're going to start. we got to run with these guys. If we're going to have a chance to do anything, we got to run before we can shoot. And I definitely saw that pick up after coming out of that first break. Yeah, yeah, ru running with them and playing that. Well, when, when they play a tough defense, they get the turnovers. Yep. And they just, like you said, they ran right back down the court and made things happen. A lot of those points, again, was in the paint. Um, and they took advantage of when the big man for the Falcons came out, number 44. Yep. Brockton took advantage of that. Well, that's what I—that's what made me wonder. He was out for a while. 
So I don't know if he's coming off an injury, something they don't want to tell us. So it's not like we're going to call Coach Bone and say, hey, Coach B, guess what? This kid's hurt. You can see he's not out there. But why? But it is what it is. All right. We get ready to start the second half. Again, Miles Jackson, Chris Bazell, I'm Dominic Damian, and all of us over at Brockton Community Access TV. I almost said the wrong town there for a minute. I had to catch myself. So for those people just joining us here in Brockton Community Access TV, the boxers have came back from a 12-point deficit for one of the best teams in the state. And, of course, I'm referring to Cambridge Ridge and Latin Falcons. The lead is four. 36-33 as we start this third quarter. Yeah, two good teams. Both of them got 10 wins. Brockton 10 and one. Uh, Cambridge 10 and two. Yeah, to go back on the um, on the I on some of the um, on some of the IQ of the game. I, I really liked how Brockton um, matched the phys athleticism of Cambridge. That's how that's how they came back in this game and tied it and made it a closer ball game. All right, so here we go. Off to possession, just underway here in the third quarter. Blakely now. Gets it over to Biddle, back to Robinson. Long three, won't go, rebound Falcons. And here comes Dunbar back in the game. Baseline for three. That hits, he is so smooth and dangerous. Cooper Wright. And that's how Wright started the um, game, hitting a few of those uh, outside three-pointers. Yeah, I, I don't think he quite missed, I don't think he missed one actually tonight. Playing low. Biddle now, Robinson, oh Robinson lost the ball. And luckily Williams wasn't close, covering him that close. Now back out to middle drive. Baseline kicks out the other part of the baseline. Reed's going to go for three. That's off. Rebound by the Falcons. Brown dishes that off to Dunbar. Again, Dunbar back in the game. We barely used to start him before. Now right from the drive baseline. That's a travel. And now we're going to have a jump ball. It was funny. I was talking to some of the managers of the uh, Cambridge Ridge and Latin, the girls. And I thought this game, the officiating was off tonight. I know it's still, we have another half to play, but just some of the calls. They should have had three or three. This is a big game. All right, I'm done trying now. Now we'll get back to the broadcast. <laughs> Sorry, gentlemen. But you're right, a big game like this, you should have three referees out there. On the inbound. Double team, they get up to Smith. Smith's gonna use his frame. Oh, is that? Oh no! Wow. I don't know. That time he did. Well, he definitely that position. He definitely Nichols did hit him. Yeah, tough break for Nichols there. He played good defense. He did. But uh, the ref thought there was some contact. Then again, being an old official myself, I know I'm not on the court. I'm going from what we're seeing 20 feet away, but it looks kind of obvious. All right. With that being said, Smith will go to the charity stripe and shoot a couple. Just underway here in the third quarter. Hits the first. Extends the lead back out to seven. Bento checks in. Good move by Coach Bowen. And a tough break for the big man, Nichols. You Nick know he wants to be out there, but uh, he's got a, he's still 6.56 left in this third quarter. Coach Bowen knows he needs him for that fourth quarter. Hits them both. And the Falcons, they've been getting lucky. Getting some, their chances at the line. The Brockton really needs to quit their fouling. We have a foul on the floor prior to the shot. And of course, that they're going to call that on Blakely. It'll be an inbound pass in the in there, Rando. And yeah. just, I was waiting for a steal. I, they've been running around so fast. I was waiting for a Falcon to come out of nowhere and grab the ball. Now off to the baseline. Wow. Reed now. Nice move. Dish nice inside. Dish. Bento. Oh, oh. offensive charge. Wow, tough break there. Nice dish off by Navon Reed, but um, just before he dished it off, the charge was called. And eating that like a, a very tough was Harrison Brown. That's a tough foul to take from a big guy like that. Now they go with the full court press. Trying to spread it out now, Smith. They're gonna say he was on the line. They're gonna say that uh, Leon Williams never had control and he stepped on the line when he did have control. So it'll be Brockton ball, 626. Still early in this third quarter, 41 to 33. Falcons. 
And, and again, Cambridge having a tough time with that trap defense of the uh, boxes. Robinson, Biddle. Oh! oh! Unbelievable. Man, Chan Biddle, man, just a graceful offensive player, man. Yeah, that was a tough shot. He was away and he laid that up with his right hand. On the six minutes left, they go full court press here, the boxes do. Right, Smith, he robbed the ball, he, he, wow. he can't finish. Well Beto. defended. Robinson now, he's gonna try to drive coast to coast, spins out the glass. Wow. With the left hand. Lead is down to four again. Now Wright's gonna try to finish. Wow. Any offensive charge is Bento. Nice um, positioning by Bento to have the charge call. Great def uh, off defensive play by the big man to get the call. That's a very mature thing to do. Especially, you know, they, they're basically kids playing a man's game. And to take an offensive foul, I don't care how big you are, that's, that's big. All right, Biddle now. Biddle covered by Wright, gonna try to drive baseline up the glass high. Can't finish, but he's fouled. Yeah, Biddle did a nice job protecting the basketball with his body. If you're trying Biddle, kinda gotta cool it. Biddle to go to the charity stripe for a couple. Hits the first. Has a chance to cut this Falcons lead to two. Yeah, Biddle trying to be a good sportsman and, and goes to number five, Leon Williams, and tries to sh shake his hand, and Leon Williams didn't want to have nothing to do with it. They Not very good sportsman like on the Cambridge player. Now breaking up the right's gonna try to finish Bento. Wow. And he does. Got the roll, got the bounce. Man, Cooper Wright, what a hell of a player, man. Yeah. Such a smart player as well. Did a Reed. nice job going over the big man and getting that basket. Reed thinking about it. He sees Smith, he drives, he spins, and wow. he's fouled. And he's gonna get teed, he's gonna yeah. get teed up. He was a little bit too intense on, on te telling the ref he didn't follow him. But, but, but he definitely followed him because uh, Navon Reed went, you could say his body went flying a little bit on the contact. All right, so he'll go for a couple here on the te on the technical. Hits the first, the lead is three. 5.02 left in the third quarter. There's the second, hits them both. Now we go to the charity shape for the foul now. And I stand corrected. Hits them both. But you're right. Um, two shot technical, and then he gets his two free throws for the foul committed by the big man. So I'm so used to seeing everyone going to the paint, but it's uh, hits it all. He hits it all with tied to 43. So nice foul shooting by Navon Reed, four for four. And like I talked about late in the second quarter, that kid's having fun. He knows what he can do. He knows he has a God-given ability to play the game. He's having fun letting the game come to him. Exactly. Yes. Under five minutes left in the third. Biddle now spins, floats one high, won't go. Rebound, Falcons, as Smith cleans that up. Almost lost the ball. Dunbar almost lost the ball to Biddle. Full court. Now Williams, thinking about driving high the glass. And we're gonna have a foul that time. That time he did move his feet. That's yeah, gonna be on a, Bento. Yeah, I believe that should be, that might be number four for him. Good defense though by the, by the boxes. They didn't, he had to work for the shot. He didn't make it. He's got to make it on the free throw line. Big thing in high school basketball is communication. Besides having a God given ability to shoot the basket, you're gonna be able to communicate with the other five guys on the floor. Misses the first. Nichols comes in, Bento takes the seat. Williams doesn't hit it. 
Nichols on the rebound for Brockton. Yeah, did a nice job fighting for that defensive board there. Reed, he'll get over to Bento around the perimeter back to Blakely now. Blakely thinking about Nichols, bounces it in. Oh, he lost the ball. The idea was there. Yep, to get it to the big man. 420 left in the third quarter. We're tied to 43. Now Dunbar take a little jump shot. He'll hit. Makes it look easy. Yeah, nice made forward. it look easy. Nice touch by the guard. Nice way of taking it yourself as well. Now Reed trying to tie this game. Here's his jump shot. Hits. We're tied at 45. Full court pressure. We look like he walked. Dunbar now is going to try to finish inside the right. And he's blocked off to Smith. Smith can't. Tip. Ball loose. Covered by the box. And it comes Reed. Reed smartly takes it back out. Resets. Now Biddle in the Nichols. They're going to have a foul on Brown. Harrison Brown. So Smith will take a seat. Timeout, timeout, Falcons guys were tied at 45, 333 left in the third quarter. We know if they were gonna hustle, we'd have a game. Yeah, and Cambridge still having a tough time with that trap defense that Bowen has um, had his team play ever since the middle of the second quarter. And that's why it brought the boxers uh, back, in, uh, back in this game. Yeah, if you're the boxers or the Falcons, you still gotta stay composed. You gotta kind of got to limit the sound sound here tonight, the atmosphere, and, and these players are doing a great job of that. I mean, the officials are the officials, so you really can't change their make. They're going to bring what they know and how they believe the game should be called, so the, the boxes cannot waste any energy worrying about what's going to happen transpire in that end, so they're just going to play boxer basketball. Exactly. They can't let the emotions um, play on them when, when if, they, if they get a bad call or something like that. They just have to keep playing and, and just let their um, instincts and athleticism and um, smarts take over and hopefully come out of here with, with the win against a tough, tough uh, Cambridge team. Yes. Yeah, yeah, and a victory in this game will really, will really dictate the, the rankings as well in Massachusetts. Absolutely. All right, we come out of that timeout. 3.33 left in the third, tied at 45. On the inbound, now Blakely from Robinson. He's thinking about making a move on Dunbar. Easy stops, he pitches his fade away. That won't go. Rebound, Nichols and follows up. Oh, and he can't finish it. But now he has a chance to give Brockton the first lead of the game. Nice offensive board there by uh, Nichols. Go up strong, get that rebound, and put it right back up and was fouled in the attempt. Yeah, I'll tell you what, Viking Nichols has looked more impressive than Kai Smith. The Falcons is the best player. He's looked more impressive tonight than Kai Smith. Got to let that go. It, it, get ready for the except next for one. the free throw shooting, because yeah. uh, Kai Smith is Kai Smith's a good free throw shooter. Be ready for line. Here's his second one. Hits the second. The boxers have their first lead of the night. And what a steal by Reed. He's going to try to finish at the glass. And he's fouled. Smart play by Navon Reed. Didn't try to go for the dunk or anything. Went for the nice, easy layup and was fouled while attempting that layup. Chance for a three-point play right there. Absolutely. All I can think of, it, I bet Isaac Lane wish he had his shot back in that second quarter. Because I thought exactly. I thought he was going to hit that with authority, like I like to say when they, when they bring it home. But he smartly just did the smart thing, laid it off the glass. Yeah, great anticipation by the big man, Navon Reed, to see that pass before it actually happened. Stepped right in front and took it, and took it to the hole. Hits. Yes, yes. Yeah. Speak, yeah, speaking of defensive anticipa anticipation, he's done that a couple times already tonight. So it'll be Falcons ball. The boxes have their first lead of the night and it's four right as of right now. With 3.15 left in the third quarter, Dunbar over to right and try to drive over the big man inside. 
Oh, come on. That was, mo that was mostly ball. That was like all ball by Todd Robinson, ball, yeah. but they're going to call a foul on Todd. Great defensive play by the guard. Charles Bonnie will go to the charity stripe oh. and shoot a couple. Oh. Yeah, if you're the officials, you kind of got to let the players play and let some of these tic tac calls go yeah, by. That was, that was definitely a tic tac call right there. Here's the first. This is the first. Benno comes out and Isaac Lane comes in. Benno played three quarters, at least more than three quarters of the third quarter. In and out won't go. He misses them both. Now Blakely. Reed stops. Thinking about getting back to Blakely. He does. Over to Robinson. Robinson thinking about driving. His fade away. Hits. Finally, Todd. I hope that'll uh, wake him up because he's a good outside shooter, but I think that's his first outside shot he's hit all game now right oh and that's a definite foul on Blakely got a little bit ahead of himself and he knows it from that reaction so it will be Falcons ball in the Brockton and 245 left in the third quarter and the box is currently have lead way back out the body excuse me Loschenheiser now Dunbar works it inside, back out. Oh, and Reed. Again, nice job by the boxers, keeping their hands up on defense. So many teams don't do that. Exactly. On the inbound in the block, and then oh, they're going to say they're going to say it was the officials' mistake. So now he's going to put the ball back in play and give it to the Falcons. At least he was honest. Oh, we're going to have a talk. So they get to adjust the clock. They took time off the clock. They're not going to adjust the clock. Are they going to say the clock is good? On the inbound, there's Losenheiser. Losenheiser back out to Dunbar. They're gonna try to wind up. They're working inside. They'll turn around, jump shot. Won't go. Rebound boxes. It can Blakely. He'll smartly slow it down. Now he's gonna try to go around Losenheiser inside. The nickels off the glass. Oh, nice dish. Nice penetration by Blakely. Broke the defense down. Blakely's been doing a great job with that tonight. And we'll have a foul. Let's see if they call that on. One nothing coming on Blakely. He's going to be in trouble here soon. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't like that call because it looked like the, the Falcons player was out of control. Blakely just happened to be there. Tough, Bryant, tough call. Exactly. Yeah. All right, so here we go off the inbound. Approaching two minutes left in the third in the Brockton lead here in the third quarter. Long pass. Across the other side of the base. There's a floater off the glass. Oh, nice strong move. Nice job by Brock. And the Falcons really needed that basket. And there's Lane. Oh, they overshot that one. No! Now in Dunbar in transition off the glass high. Oh, that was a tough shot. Yeah, by Bonnie. Lead is four. 130 and running left here in the third quarter. The boxes with their first lead of the night added up to six. And they're going to say right, that right. Blakely just lost control yeah, he, of the ball. Yeah, he just lost control of the basketball. His heart was in the right spot. He just, he just couldn't finish what he was trying to do. And transition. There's a baseline shot. And Brock hits another one. Nice jumper right there. Lead is back down the two as Robinson. Spins, turns away, his fade away, won't go. Rebound, Falcons. And a minute left in the third, Dumbaugh's baseline Ooh. shot. Hits. It's a dangerous team. Back and forth we go, now Reed. Reed's gonna drive off the glass, strong, can't go. There's Nichols to clean it up, but he's fouled. Nice hustle by Nichols. 
Motley being at the right place at the right time. Yep. Good defense by uh, Brock. So for the first time in this game, going into the, this fourth quarter, the boxes are all right right now. They got 16 fouls, and the Falcons have nine. Hits the first, so that could help out the boxes and some, you know, as we go into this fourth quarter. Yeah, the Bronx, yeah, the boxes have looked more fluent from the line in this half now. Here's his second shot. Hits them both. And the boxes have a one point lead again. He traveled. No call. Lost the ball. Didn't he take a step before he dribbled, I thought? It was close. I'm, I'm surprised the rest didn't call tripping. 31 boxes. Absolutely. 31.7 tenths of a second left in this half. In this quarter, excuse me. And I gotta shut this phone off. I apologize. <laughs> Great broadcaster I am. Now Blakely. Robinson has a good look for three. Won't go off the glass. And Wright gets that for the Falcons. Brian. Nice move by Wright. Brock is blocked. Tipped again. He gets the off the block. He gets that Brock. Now covered by Lane in transition. Here comes Reed. Thinking Got three. Got a three, two, one. Lane. And it won't go. Yeah, yeah Navon had the three. I think he kind of hesitated a bit. After three, your score. The Brockton Boxers 55. Cambridge Ridge and Latin Falcons 54. Guys, we get ready for a big, big fourth quarter. Yeah, and what the Boxers have to watch out for is that Cambridge Cambridge Latin um, offense is spurt because boxes had a, I don't know, six point lead and all of a sudden it just disappeared off of Cambridge's great shooting That's out there. It. Yep. We Before you know it, 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 they were back tied and then in the lead a little bit. But Brockton, Brockton hung in there. They just gotta be careful. They can't let down on defense. On the, and the, also they can't let down on offense when passing the basketball because this is, again, a very dangerous Cambridge team. Yeah, speaking of the disappearance of Brogdon's lead, Tyreek Brock. Tyreek Brock was kind of a difference maker. Hit a couple of shots, kept kept the Cambridge Ridge and Latin flow going, and they find themselves only down one instead of a few. All right, so here's the situation. As we start again, 55-54 Brockton. The Falcons have nine team fouls. The boxes right now only have six going into this going into this quarter. This is for this is for keepsake. Well, we didn't break my camera, so that's good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here we go. So the boxes are going to go with Nichols, Reed, Blakely, Lane, and Ulua. And it looks like the Falcons are going to go with Brock, Dunbar, Jones now in the game, Wright, and number 21, Bonnie. So let's see how this transpires as we have a one point lead again. Dunbar off the inbound. Over to Jones, and that's blocked. Blakely's gonna try to finish. Oh, he can't. But he's fouled to go to the charity strike. Nice defense by um, Isaac. Isaac Lane with the hands up. Brock. Again, Brock is doing a nice job with, on defense, keeping those hands up. Not only is he going after the shot, now, now we're in the double bonus situation for the boxers. So it's actually a um, total reverse from the first half when the boxers were in, in foul trouble and Cambridge was in the bonus. We had a good feeling there was too much talent even on the bench for this boxer team not to compete. Yes, exactly, yes. And that's one thing about this season so far, Brockton bench has uh, come come into the game and really helped the um, starters and Absolutely. a lot of leads a lot of leads haven't been relinquished right the Bonnie block wow. Reed now can't wow. finish that's tip now Lane he's gonna try to drive he spins bounce pass nice move by right to step it in for the Falcons now Dunbar Dunbar he'll step back he'll have the Falcons regroup 
Just underway here in the fourth quarter. 57-54, Brockton right now. And he got a reach on Reed, and he knew it, too. Yeah, yeah. He knew it. They're going to call him officially for a push. Huh. And you'll see the replay there of that last defensive play. And that's Navon's fourth foul. So with still seven minutes, 21 seconds left, coach has no um, choice but to take him out for a little bit. Still a lot of basketball left. Reed hits, right hits the first, because now Brockton's in the one and one. The lead is two. Hits them both. Olawu now. He'll run the offense right now for the boxers. As guys switch up, Biddle getting ready to check in. Robinson trying to make a move. He'll drive high at the glass. Rebound Ooh. Falcons. Now Dunbar in transition on the middle. Brock. Oh, wow. That's blocked again. Wow. Blocked again. And the and Dighton just got just got teed up. And they just teed up Coach Dighton. Yeah, yeah, I believe that team. And, 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 and I can't, can't blame the Cambridge coach because it looked like um, the big man got away with one under the boards he there. He really did. Yeah, I, 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 didn't, I was surprised the whistle wasn't blown. But, um, yeah, he hit his arm. Vicky Nichols, yes. Hits the first. It's been a while since I've seen two technical fouls in the game. Yeah, both in this uh, second half here. Hits the second. <laughs> All right, Brockton ball off the inbound. Just under seven minutes left in the game. The boxers lead is back up to three. They have come back from a 12 point deficit at one time in this game. All the way now. Covered by Dunbar, top of the key. Over the lane. Lane inside to Nichols, using his body, a little floater. Wow. And hits. Oh, beautiful spin move by the big man in the paint. He's had a heck of a game. Dunbar over to Brock. Trying to get out of that Brock and press. And we'll have a travel. But it looked like Solomon Heron was trying, he thought he got fouled. His, his body looks like he stopped, like, loses the call. Then again, that's about you got to get three officials in games like this. Another great defensive play there to cause another turnover. Now Olu Robinson steps back. He looks at his guys, gets out the lane, working around the perimeter. Biddle for three. That's that's too long, but Heron's there, and we will have a jump ball. It will be a jump ball. Possession arrow will go in favor of the boxers. And Smith will check in. You definitely need the big man with 6-14 if you want a chance to compete in this game. And, and Nichols fighting for that ball. He kind of did something to um, his left, one of his left fingers, but it looks like he's, he's okay. He's not coming out. Off the inbound pass. And Lane almost got his pocket pit. He picks it up, gets it out to Robinson. Thinking three, looks. That's kind of long. Rebound Falcons. They're going to have a foul on the floor. Let's see who they call it on. Number two on a hold. So that, they're going to call that. Do I even have a number two on my roster? Who they, I think they called on Biddle. Yeah, they called on Biddle. I thought they were, I, I forgot what, <laughs> I, lost my, I lost my sense of direction from it, I apologize. I'm like, which way are they going? All right, so Robinson checks in, Xavier checks in, another good shooting, another good shooting forward for the, for the boxers. As Hearn's gonna try to finish this, and he does. Now Olawu, under six minutes left in the game. 
Covered by Dombard, top of the key, gets it over to Blaine. Lane, Lane, over to Xavier, he pivots, his little floater off the glass, off the baseline won't go. They lost the ball, nice heads up play. Yeah. By the boxers. Baseline. Bam! There we go. Lane. Isaac Lee, what a shot, man. We, we've been waiting for that all, all game. Lane up, oh, there's oh. a foul there. On yeah. Xavier. As he really went at Hearn, that was almost a football move. Yeah, Brock, yeah, a lot of Brockton's fouls has been on anticipation plays. They they really wanted it really badly, but they just kind of got to set, settle yeah, it down a little bit. Exactly. Xavier wanted it. The adrenaline was going after that three-point shot by his teammate, Isaac Lane. And uh, Xavier just got a little excited on defense. As you see the replay here on the three-point shot by Isaac Lane. Yeah, nice job. We've been waiting for Isaac to hit one of them big ones from outside. All right, here come the boxes now. Lane. Oh, nice move. Beto was thinking about it. I thought he was going to shoot a jump step high up the glass. I'm going to have a foul. Again, nice job by Biddle using his body to shield the ball and put it up and, and get fouled. Yeah, and both of these teams are using a strategy. Foul it out. Play, play to your own pace. Get to the line and make your baskets from the line. Both of these teams have been doing it all night. Hits up, oh, misses the first. I'll call that Pinto. Need to get him in, and Nichols will take a seat. A well deserved rest. Yeah, he's been battling underneath. He earned his paycheck in the fourth quarter, that's yes. for sure. Yeah, but Kim Nichols, man. Do we have blood? Is that what he said? Oh. I who's, who's hurt? Someone, ref's taking someone out of the game. It took Bento back. Bento was going in, but then he took him back out. I think Bento, yeah, like you said, he got cut, so he's going to have to get that cut fixed. All right, here's Olawu. Misses the second. Rebound, Falcons. Dunbar, Brock in the plan, and he stole the ball. Over the middle, off the glass, and he oh, oh, come on. Oh, oh man. They're gonna call oh, my God. Man, I don't Tough know. call. Tough call, great defensive play. We'll yeah, see, that, see that replay by Trent Biddle. Right Tough there. call. Right and I don't know. Coach Bowen almost jumped out of his red sweater. <laughs> Now in transition, they open the court. Right, Dunbar now, driving over the baseline, and Brock, he's gonna have an offensive foul the other way. Man, the Falcons in the boxes, man. Both of these teams are just getting physical, man. Yeah, as you see, you have the replay of Van and Xavier. Yeah, good position by the boxes. Under five minutes left in the game. The lead is five for Brockton. All of them. And Xavier has a clean up. Gonna have a foul on the floor on Smith on the push. Got two, two shots. Both teams are in the bonus now. I apologize for not mentioning for us not mentioning it earlier. Just caught up in the got caught up in the game. Little extracurricular activity in the paint. Hits the first. Now down to four minutes and 44 seconds left in the game. Xavier trying to extend the lead. Rebound Smith. Dunbar. Over to Hearn, he gets trapped. Right, and they're gonna have a jump ball. That's the right call. Good defense again by the boxes. Forcing things. Hearn checks out, and Losenheiser checks in. Under 4.30 left in the game. And now we're back, we apologize for that. They got it, now in, now in transition. Brock, right.
All right, we're back. See what happens here. Hits the, hits the second. The lead is four. I don't think it's that. I think it's something down there. 65-61 Brockton. Under four minutes left. Xavier to Biddle. Bento, Xavier was thinking about shooting over the big man Smith. He does let one go. That rebound Bento feeds inside the Biddle. Biddle, Oliver, Xavier for three. Yes! Big shot right there by the by the um, forward there, Xavier. Timeout, timeout, Brockton. Your score, the boxers 68. The Falcons 61, 3.30 left in the game. We got a game, gentlemen. Yeah, but. Yes, thank you. Xavier with the big, big three. Bang. Yeah, man, this, yeah, as I said earlier, man, Massachusetts State rankings, man. One of these teams are going to be ahead of the other, man. It's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be fun looking at the top of that column. I see some good teams already at the top of that column. Most of these teams are there. Just to get people filled in who just came, or just tuning in late in the third, here in the fourth quarter, the boxes have come down from a 12-point deficit. And I'm currently taking the lead, 68-61, with 3.30 left in the game. And, and Coach Bowen has had his team ever since the middle of that second quarter, that trap defense, and they haven't let up on it, and it's really given Cambridge some problems bringing that ball down on the court. A lot of turnovers because of that trap defense. Let's see if they go full or do they go half. Now Dunbar. They work the ball around the perimeter. Over to Brock. Brock baseline to right. Right thinking about shooting. Covered by Reed. Dunbar now. Works it around again. Back over to right. Thinking about going inside. Covered by Biddle. Gets it over to big man Smith. Smith's going to try to move. He kicks it back off to Dunbar. Who had a look. His jump shot. That won't go. Tip and rebound Brockton. Yeah, big, big rebound right, right there by Bento. Robinson, Xavier, works it inside to Reed, the big man, the MVP of the game right there with the... Yeah. Oh. the oh. Left him on the ground. Yeah, Tyreek Brock took a shot a little bit. A little shake and bake. As you can see, 70-61 boxes, 234 left in the game. Dunbar, thinking about Brock, gets it over to Brock, top of the key over to Losenheiser. Goes to his right, as you can see, works around the point of bounce pass over to Dunbar. 10 seconds left on the shot clock. For three. Wow. Hits. Wow. That was Gerald Dalton on the shot, number 33 for the Falcons. Good shot. 2-12 left in the game, 70-64. Boxers. Gentlemen, it's, you got two 10 and two teams going at it, and that's exactly what we thought. Let's see. Here, no, excuse me, number 23, Peter Lucenizer, number 23 with the shot. Nice shot by him. And, and basically what Brockton has to do, when they have the ball, they, they can't have a turnover. They really got to make a shot because, again, this Cambridge team is very dangerous. They, they can hit those outside shots. So Brockton really has to take advantage. When they have the offensive uh, ball, they have to really put the ball in the basket. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because we still got a lot of time, two minutes, 12 seconds to go. And that's a, it's a two possession a lead right now for the boxes. First thing that comes to mind, this two minute and 12 seconds for these two teams, you might as well put eight minutes on back on the back. You might as well put a full quarter back on the clock. Yeah. Yeah, it seems like the Falcons are not going away. They're still there, six points. They're still there with two minutes, 2.12 left. All right, so Brockton forgot to get the ball. All right, so here we go. Robinson bringing up, he's covered by Dunbar. Approaching two minutes left in the game. Biddle, we're inside the Bento, trying to go on Smith. He definitely dragged his foot. That was 
walking before you dribble. One on one. Boxers lead is six. Robinson thought he had it into Brock. Brock's floater with the right hand. Won't go. Rebound Brockton. Robinson now bringing the, bringing the ball up fast. They slow it down. Oh. Miscommunication. Talked about that in the first half. He just shot it again later in this game. Yeah, unfortunately, the last two offensive plays by the boxers, they've, they've um, come up with nothing. And they can ill afford to do that with this dangerous Cambridge team. These guys could meet in the south sectional. Now right, Dunbar inside the Brock. He gets triple team right from the baseline. Whoa! Wow, what a shot. Time out, time out. Cambridge, Ridge and Latin. 120 left in the game. 70-67, 72-67, Brockton. Yeah, Cooper Wright has done this all game at, at special times, and that was a special time right there to hit that big three. And you see the clock, 121 when he hit that. So it's a one possession game right now for the boxers. Yep. Hey Miles, what's the game plan for Brockton? Would you milk the clock or score? Milk the clock or score for Brockton? Well, what yeah, do you have in mind? Milk a little bit, but they got to score. They haven't scored their last three offensive possessions coming down on the, on, on the court. So they need to score one just, just for momentum wise. Absolutely, they got to get their rhythm back. This is a bad time in the game to start losing losing shot. Yeah, and interesting is they they Coach Bowen had him stop that that um that trap defense <coughs> and has let Cambridge just come down easily. And uh, it, it's helped Cambridge. All right, so here we go. Coming out of that break, like we said, 120 left in the game, and as you can see, it's a 70-67 lead for the boxes. Rockton needs to get some rhythm back. As Robinson brings it up, he's covered by Dunbar. Over the middle. Thinking about working inside, now they'll rotate through. Biddle lost the ball, gets over to Robinson. He's gonna drive, move his hand. Oh, ball, blocked. ball. Oh. Xavier. Reed was thinking about it, but they wanna wind it up. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Someone's gonna have to take a shot here. Spins and oh, nice dish! Oh, oh, he can't finish. Nice Eventually, you got to make in that. You got to make that in. That's four straight possessions without a basket. Exactly. Inside the block, the Smith off the glass and in. The lead is one. Robinson. Off the oh. oh, where's the call? Oh, call. Oh, oh. Now Dunbar. Smith is going to try to drive. His floater high. Wow, throw. what a defensive play by Bento. Yeah. Wow. And they got to follow him. They have to Bento. follow him. Bento, wow. Let's see that. Can we see that replay? Yeah, great defense by Bento. Wow, that was a clean. That's yeah. clean basketball. That's clean yeah. defense. Stop Kai Smith. Wow. That was a little redemption on the other end by that miss, by that miss too. Well, if the boxer have to have one man on the on the free throw line, you want to have um, Navon Reed. He's been hot from the charity stripe all night. It's the first. That's big. That is big. If he hits this, it's even bigger. But again. Cambridge got those three-point deadly shooters. They got a, two or three of them over there. Can hit that shot. That helps the cause. It'll put pressure on uh, Cambridge to hit that three. Three-pointer with 17 seconds on the clock. Yeah, 72 to 69 lead. 72 to 69 lead. And timeout Brockton. It's gonna be interesting to see how we come out of this break and what brought, and what uh, the Falcons are gonna throw, try to throw. We know they can hit the baseline shot. The thing that the Brock Boxes have been doing defensively wise, that hurt them was, was keeping those wings open. You can't keep those wings up, they're very dangerous. 
yeah, like I said, it'd be interesting to see what kind of defensive um, formation when they come out of here. If, if they don't do the trap, at least put pressure at half court when they get to the half court. Yeah, the trap for Brockton has been working well all the entire game. They've been doing a great job of it. They, ha they, they caused about six turnovers, six steals tonight off the trap. If not more. All right, so we come out of the break. Let's see who the boxes come out with, and let's see who Cambridge Ridge and Latin come out. They're going to go with Dunbar, Losenhauser, Wright, Smith, and Brock. Brockman's going to go with Xavier, Riddle, Benton, Reed, and Blakely with 17.8 tenths of a second left in the game. All right, they come out man to man right up front. Put pressure on the ball. Dunbar covered by Blakely. You can't foul if you're Brockton. Now right, covered by Xavier. Back out to Brock. They work the ball around the perimeter. Two seconds left. Thinking about shooting. He'll let it go. All right. All right. All right. And that's how the game will end. With your score, oh, the Brockton Boxers, 72. And of course, the Cambridge Original Latin Cambridge Ridge and Latin 69. Your guys, your thoughts before we go away? Well, Brockton played great defense at the last 17 seconds, and, and that's what won them the, the, the basketball game was great defense, especially trap defense. Since that second quarter, it brought them back in the ball game, got them the lead, and just put a lot of pressure on Cambridge to stay with Brockton for the rest of the game. Yeah, Navon, Navon Reed and Vic Cam Nichols, they had impressive games. They, they both contributed offensively and defensively. They had great games. For all of us here at Brockton Community Access, here's your score one last time. The box has improved to 11 and two with a 72 to 69 win over Cambridge Ridge and Latin. We will catch you next time. Everyone have a fantastic weekend.